My name is Alvin Mayers from Dominica. And, well, I'm, I'm about to talk about my experience with Hurricane Maria in September 18th, 2017. And I'm from Kalibishi, and I can show you right now the village of Kalibishi by the bay. I'm on the hill right now. So, here it is. If you can see it well. You know, and yeah, Hurricane Maria have done a lot of damage, and you can still see the effects in the village. You know, of what Hurricane Maria did, there are still some buildings that have not covered from the hurricane. Well, before the hurricane, I we didn't expect the hurricane to be that catastrophic because. I was on the internet, I was watching the report of them giving the, um, you know, the hurricane and everything. You know, I didn't, I think it was on a Sunday, it was, and, and the hurricane didn't um, hit us on, on Monday night, you know. And on the Sunday, you know, I, I they say a hurricane is coming to Dominica, you know. So we was on hurricane warning, I think. You know, I wasn't prepared, we wasn't prepared. I don't think much people in Dominica was prepared for that hurricane. You know, because, and you know, even if we, you know, we was prepared, the hurricane would still do something, you know, that we wouldn't expect, you know. Because the hurricane showed that it was category 3 before it hit Dominica. When it passed Dominica, they show it was a category 4, so we check in, it will just be a category 3. Although category 3, hurricane is still kind of catastrophic, but not, you know, powerful enough to, for category 5. And also, we didn't expect that to happen, people. You know, and, you know, two days, Friday, we in November, I think today is the 17th of November. So it, uh, it is almost tomorrow, it will make two months since the hurricane passed Dominica. You know, and we are recovering little by little. I think Domlex said that you know, they are expecting to, you know, to put back wires and everything. Electricity would be available to every everywhere by next year april 2018 so you no know, but hopefully kalibishi would get that just now maybe in january so i would say or february i i not i not too sure i'm just estimating you know sometimes it, it could be right april we get all light but you know anyways wow well, that hurricane day, what? Uh, the night the hurricane hit. Well, that hurricane day was for the whole night, from 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the morning. And the hurricane didn't want to stop. You know, the hurricane was whole night and it was a category 5. You know, people say in Dominica that past category 5. But I, I'm not sure about if it passed category 5. People like just like to express themselves and say things. But, you know, because of, you know, I think the hurricane was a category 5 and it was for the whole night. That is why it did that much of a damage. You know, for the whole night and it, you know. So, you know, people say it was worse than Hurricane David. Hurricane David was in the late 70s. You know, and people say, boy, that hurricane there was worse than Hurricane David. The hurricane David was for a few hours and it go, but that hurricane there was for the whole night. You know, and he didn't want to, the, that hurricane there wanted to kill everybody in Dominica. Because you cannot tell me you, 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 there, I, 
me and my family, my father, my mother, my brothers, we was in a room close to the bathroom there, you know, and to our bathroom. And you know, we was just, it's like a Titanic situation. When Titanic ship was sinking, everybody was trying to survive. And, you know, and, you know, we, we even thinking that, you know, we, we don't know what are going to happen. So it's best like we give our life to Christ. We pray and think because we don't know who they're going to die if we're going to die. Because that hurricane, they could surely kill us. But, you know, God was with us and, you know, God see that hurricane, they're not going to kill us. You know, we, got, we are going to survive this hurricane. And some people die, I think. They give a report saying that 30-something 30 pe 30 people died. Okay, it's either 30-something people die, and I think they say 30-something people missing. So if like some people missing, that probably they are died, they, they died, or maybe they just say like in everything, people that missing, both people that missing and people that die is thirty something. But we still, I still not sure. I still maybe I didn't really listen to the radio properly. So you no, know, but you know people died and. It's sad, you know, but it could have been worse. You know, that hurricane, they want, I said it wanted to kill everybody in Dominica. You know, it wanted to kill everybody, but most of us survived. And, you know, God, we, God was with us. You know, sometimes it's God that teaching us a lesson. You know, that hur sometimes God sent the hurricane to keep, teach Dominica people a lesson. You know, that... You know, we are not all that good better off than, you know, other people. We are not doing all that, you know, so we, I'm in Dominica. I'm, I'm happy. I'm pleased with my country. I'm pleased, you know, Dominica is green and nice. And, you know, we, even if we slow, but, you know, some people say it good so. It, it, it good how it slow, how we be, you know. Because maybe some people, like, they, they go from, in a fast Caribbean developed nation like maybe Antigua or another Caribbean island that is developed and they say oh I want to come Dominica to relax and you know to you know to chill out because you know the place too fast but some people say Dominica should develop you know anyways Boy, that hurricane there, we was, I wasn't really scared in you know, but I wasn't expecting the hurricane to be that catastrophic. I wasn't scared, but, you know, but the hurricane passed and I survived the hurricane. In my village, in Kalibishi, nobody died during the hurricane, but after the hurricane, I think two people died of different different thing that that killed them like maybe a sickness or something like that or you know I think they say one was stressed out or something but wow I mean it's sad that you know those pe two people die but the hurricane didn't kill I think neighboring villages a few people died but you know most of us survive and you know, thank God. You know, after the hurricane, I wanted to see what had happened. After I see my one of my neighbor's house roof that go and I see what I didn't expect his house roof to go. Our roof, well, not everything of it that went. It's just um part of it, a portion of it. So, but one of my neighbor's roof, everything just go. Oh, and I didn't expect that to happen. I even thought our oh, roof would have go than than his roof or her roof, you know. But you know, but we are recovering. Other countries that have helped us, and we want to say thank you for helping us. You know, even countries like Antigua who did something what they could, 
um, they had Barbuda, what Hurricane Irma did to them, to take care of, and they still contributed. I think they sent, I think, a hundred thousand EC dollars about that, what I remembered. And you know, all the Caribbean countries, and I think America, and you know, some other nations, I'm not too sure. But you know, I just want to say thank you for helping us. Maybe we still need help all now, but we are recovering, you know. And hopefully, if like another hurricane pass in another country or something, we we could be able to help these other countries because they have helped us. You know, it's good to help one another. It's good to see, you know, this, as people say, the world is ending and people are getting wicked, uh, more wicked. But you know, we see people helping, and that is a good sign that you know. You know, there are still good people in this world who, who you know, is still loving and kind and nice to everybody else. Yeah, um, okay, I wanted to say a lot more, but, you know, I can show you Kalibishi again. That's how it is. So, you know, people would buy. I think I, I have made a video three days after the hurricane, so you could see really see, you know, what and around my neighborhood. So, I might post that on my YouTube channel, you know, later down, not now, because it's the video is on my brother's phone, so I cannot upload it yet. I can only upload that video there, you know. So people thank you for helping us and you know god god will help us god will see us through and you know thank you for the rations you know people call like foodstuffs and everything people or families overseas like in america or some other caribbean country you know who helped us thank you and you know god will bless each and every one of you so goodbye and god bless stay blessed